Hello guys, World Five Papi here with another episode of Sin One Techie. How are you guys doing? Let me ask a question. Has your Facebook ever been hacked? If your answer is no, I'd like it to stay that way. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to stop hackers from getting to your Facebook. Let's start with how to know if your Facebook has been hacked. There are two main ways to know if you have been hacked. The first way is when your friends report to you that they're getting suspicious messages and link from you. You can verify if an unauthorized person has logged in into your account by going to your Facebook, then hit the home button, then head to the down arrow on the right, click on settings, then go to the left and hit security and login, then look under the heading where it says where you have been logged in. If that shows you are logged in in a place where you are not, then now you know you have been hacked. Another way to know if you have been hacked is when your Facebook password doesn't work. What you should do is to attend Attempt to change your password, go to the login page on Facebook, click on forget password, attempt to change your password so that the hackers can get in. Alright, now that we know how your Facebook has been hacked, now let's go to how to prevent hackers from hacking your Facebook. How to stop people from hacking your Facebook account. Step 1. Change your password. To change your Facebook password, go to settings, go to securities and login on the left. And then go to the heading that says login. Then enter your current password and enter your new password. I recommend you change your password every 3 months and use something very strong. Step 2. Choose Facebook friends you can trust to contact if you're logged out. How it works is, your Facebook friends will send you special recovery codes and links in case you're logged out. How to choose friends for login purposes. Go to settings, security and login. The first heading that says choose your friends to contact if you get logged out. Click on edit, choose trusted friends, choose trusted contacts, then enter the names of your three trusted friends and you're done. When you have a problem logging in into Facebook, you can contact your friends to help you. They will give you a code that would help you reaccess your Facebook. Number 3. Two-factor authentication hinders hackers from hacking your Facebook because they will not only need your password but they will need your cell phone or email account to get the code. To start two-factor authentication, go back to settings, securities and login, then scroll down to the two-factor authentication, click on edit, click on get started, click on next. I think the cell phone authentication is way easier. Then enter your number and you're done. Number 4. Get alert about unrecognized login. Go to settings, go down to settings and extra security. Click on edit. Click on the circle that gets notification for Facebook and Messenger as well as email and you can add up your phone number as well. And finally, step 5. Delete unused Facebook apps. Hackers can get through any third party app connected to your Facebook, especially expired apps. How to get rid of them? Go to settings, look to the left hand, scroll down to apps and websites. There you can save active apps and websites. Click on expired. There you go with apps you end using. Select them and click remove. Now your Facebook is as secured as fuck nuts. But I know this method can be very frustrating, especially two-factor authentication. But trust me guys, it's really good for us. Another thing I want you guys to know is always change your Facebook password once a while. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Sin One Techie. If you have any questions, please throw it at us. We're going to definitely answer it and bring it to your screen. Thank you guys. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless you. Till next time. Stay techie.